All right, everyone, here's the update on the latest progress of the cabin. So my brother and I have been up here for the last couple days working nonstop, putting together furniture, organizing things, um, trying to tie up all the loose ends to get this thing ready to go on the market. We got one more trip up here at the end of this month, and uh, we'll be all set after that to turn it loose and start making some money. So here is the current status of the cabin. I'll go through and walk you through um, every floor here. And there's still some things that need to be done. Just keep that in mind. Um, we're still missing a uh, sleeper sofa, uh, some outdoor furniture for the deck. And we just had somebody stop by and give us a quote for the pressure washing on the outside and uh, cleaning all the windows inside and outside. So all the stickers off the windows, all the caulking and goop and stuff that uh, the construction guys got on the windows. All right, so here we go. So this is the third floor deck. Um, this is the master bedroom inside here. So this is the private balcony for the master bedroom. We're going to have some furniture out here. Uh, this place has the second best view. I think the, the best view comes from over here on this side, but we'll, we'll walk over there in a minute. You can be the judge of that. And there's going to be some outdoor furniture here. We're going to have a TV up here in this corner. So you can sit down here and watch TV and relax and just uh, take it all in. We have the newly added dog poop station there. Pick up after your pets. All right, let's go inside. Inside here we have this uh, very nice custom-made uh, Italian bed frame. And nightstand there, nightstand on the other side. Fan with the remote control so you don't have to get out of bed to turn it off and on. Uh, recessed lighting up there, ceiling's pretty high. We have the nice uh, little accent wall there with a different type of wood, shiplap or something like that it's called. And this is just a regular pine. This area here is where the suitcases are going to go. <clears throat> We're going to probably put some uh, chair, reclining chair or something over there in that corner. Uh, we do have blackout curtains and or blackout shades in this room and in the first floor. So if you want to sleep in in the morning, you can roll those down and keep the sun out because this does face east. So it gets the morning sun. A uh, little closet here. Hang up the clothes. Stow away any luggage or shoes or anything you want to put in there. Going into the bathroom here. So this bathroom has the entrance through the master bedroom and through the loft out there. Got some cool artwork here. Custom made log sink. So this sink was an actual log that was turned on a lathe and made into a sink. Some epoxy. And here we have the shower. Don't mind the plastic bag. I gotta cut that off. We have a nice uh, waterfall shower. And then it's got the shower head over there and the wand there. You can use the lever to choose whichever one you want. Come out here to the loft. There's gonna be a queen sleeper sofa here, probably a nice big area rug here. Uh, you got your Peloton, exercise bike, dumbbells, kettlebell, just a little area there if you wanna work some stress out. And then here we have the office area workstation. It's gonna be a printer here, a little bit of paper, in case you need to print out any passes for parks or airplane tickets or whatever. Uh, AC closet in there, antlers here, fireplace this looks down this is the uh, janitor down here hanging out we'll go outside to the deck okay this is the third floor deck so this is the highest point in the cabin looking off this way out this side of the cabin you got the parking over there all this vegetation is dead in the winter all these trees are uh, stripped in the winter so the, the view changes a little bit as the seasons change. Um, you can see a lot more through through all the mountains and hills. Um, a little less privacy, I guess, in the winter. And then in the summertime, it, it all fills in and you don't see as much. <clears throat> so this is where I said I think the best view in the house is. You got all this, all this out here. Like I said, some of this stuff is all gonna get cleaned up. Um, we just had a discussion with this owner today. He was here doing some, some little details and we're gonna um, all pitch in 
once the guy that's above us, because there's another lot that's going to be built above us, once it's all done, we're going to pitch in and re-asphalt the entire driveway all the way down to the bottom of the mountain. But for now, we just had to kind of patch things up. Jacuzzi's down there. That's the master bedroom balcony we were on earlier. Planning on probably putting either a table and chairs here or some like a bar top that comes out with high chair seating. So you can sit down here and have some nice conversation, enjoy some drinks, and enjoy the view. There's a really nice breeze, uh, as you can tell by Old Glory there. There's a nice breeze that comes through this patio. All right. We'll go downstairs, second floor, which is the main level. <clears throat> that level, by the way, look at these high ceilings. That level was built with the intentions of being wheelchair friendly. I'll show you what we did for that. <clears throat> Custom made Italian artwork there, bare, starry night. All right, come down here to the left. We have the seating area. Come in, take off your shoes, boots. You got a little tray there in case you got dirt, mud, mud or uh, snow in your boots. Coat rack here. Custom sign there. Front door, slage, um, Wi-Fi lock. So you can, it's electronic. You can punch the code in on the outside. It locks itself after two minutes. Keep the bears out. And this is an uh, Echo Show, so this is going to be where you'll be able to tap into information about the cabin. Um, if you want to know where the mop is, you can ask it, it'll tell you. If you want to know where the best steakhouse is, it'll tell you. It's going to have your name pre-programmed on there when you come through the door and tell you welcome to the cabin. And it's going to have access to uh, other things there. And coming this way, the kitchen, butcher block countertops. Nice gray cabinets, the Keurig there, fully stocked, microwave, dishwasher, because who wants to do dishes on vacation? The sink, nice big farmhouse sink, disposal, cool view out here, overlooking the jacuzzi from the second deck out to the mountains. Uh, this window does open, so if you have guest out there you want to pass food drinks whatever back and forth you can open the window uh cooktop stove and oven here this is the seating for dinner lunch whatever you want to do there rocking chair uh, there's the fireplace we're still missing the mantle there and the tv is going to go right up here this is a queen size uh, sleeper sofa. So if you want to relax and open up the sofa and take a nap by the fireplace, you have that ability to do that. This fireplace is really easy. Watch how easy this is. Turn it on. And you got a fire. And when you're done, turn it off. It's gone. So another look around here, the second floor. So this floor is wheelchair friendly. And the reason I say that is because number one, uh, we did 36 inch doors here on the bathroom, make it accessible for a wheelchair to go in and out. You can see the sink and uh, this whole station here is kind of pushed back into the wall and it's really only as big as we needed it to be to fit the sink on there and you have a shower here we couldn't make this a roll in shower so to speak just because of the way the the joist and the trusses are underneath but um, we did the best we could to make it accommodating got some artwork in here And then we'll have, you know, accessories up there, hair ties and things like that, in case you forgot your stuff at home. Barn door, so that way uh, there's less swing on the door opening out. It doesn't take up a bunch of space. It does have a glow-in-the-dark lock here, so when you close the barn door, you can lock it that way, and it glows in the dark just in case the power were to go out and you were inside the bathroom, you can find your way out. Same thing over here with the barn door. Um, this hallway here leads out to a ramp i'll show you that in a second but we wanted to use the barn door feature to give more room coming through this hallway in the event that a wheelchair needs to get through there and this is the 
second floor bedroom. Um, <clears throat> this bedroom would be where someone with a wheelchair would stay just because the other floors uh, aren't as accessible with the stairs. This door leads out to the balcony here. We'll go out there in a second. We're still missing. Uh, we're gonna put a little rod across here to hang up any sort of clothes. We're gonna probably have a little dresser right there, something very slim against the wall, and then the TV up there. So like I said, a couple things still missing. We're gonna most likely put a little bench right here to sit on, to take your shoes off and on. Coming out here, this is the wheelchair ramp. So in the event you have someone that has difficulty walking or is in a wheelchair, they have access to the cabin. And yeah, there's some garbage over there right now that needs to be removed, but uh, they have a very easy way to get in versus climbing a bunch of stairs or trying to find another way to get in. All right, let's go check out the balcony outside. That door is going to get adjusted. All right, second floor balcony. You have a jacuzzi over here. Um, this is just temporary chairs for, for now. We're going to have some more of these custom-made uh, Adirondack chairs in the next couple weeks. Um, yeah, jacuzzi. So this is pretty much your view from the jacuzzi. Not too bad, right? It's not the third floor deck, but it's doable. And in the event that uh, you want a little privacy, you can just pull this shut. Trying to do this with one hand here. All right. So there's a privacy shade there. So you can have your privacy and be in the jacuzzi and not worry about anybody staring at you. Okay, on to the next side of the deck. So over here we have a ring toss. One of my favorite games. Not ring toss, I guess. Ring hook, whatever it's called. Let's see if I can nail it in one shot. Oh, man. Come on. All right. Well, I'll get some practice. We'll come back to that. Down here, um, right now, we don't have it up, but we've got a really big like a connect four game that's going to go here on the wall we just didn't put it up yet because we're going to be getting all of this side well the entire thing pressure washed and cleaned up and all the cobwebs and construction dust and all that stuff um in the next couple of weeks we're going to have somebody here to do that and he's going to clean all the windows custom made little bench here right pretty cool behind that is the uh cornhole setup and the bags are right there so if you want to come out here and play some cornhole you just roll out those those boards and have some fun all of these lights here that you see all along the decks are on a timer and on a photo cell as well so you know those will come on at night keep everything illuminated and you also have the capability to turn them all off should you want to and down to the first floor So down here is the game room slash um, bunk bedroom. Now, we will most likely be expanding this bathroom um, next year, probably the last week of January, first week of February. We're going to block off and do some renovations or some additions, I guess. And one of those is going to be, this is a half bath currently. We're going to bring it all the way out to this column right here, add a shower, so when you see stuff like this, um, this AC pipe up here, all that's going to be trimmed off and um, things are going to look a little different down here. Down there, that's our electric vehicle charging station that's going to be installed soon. So if you have one of those cool um, cars that doesn't require any gas, you'll have a place to plug it in. Here's the laundry room. i got to throw some towels in the dryer. But you got a little um, sink there, some cleaning supplies. Obviously, this stuff is all going to be hung up and organized and it's not going to look like this. Bunch of sheets we got to wash, towels, all this stuff's brand new, so we got to wash it. 
uh, gas powered dryer, so it's very efficient. And that's it for the laundry room. Let me leave that light on. Here is the bunk bedroom. So this is where you can you can just uh, throw the kids downstairs and let them do their thing, and you don't have to listen to a bunch of craziness. Uh, we're gonna add a few more lights in here uh, because it's kind of dark, and then we're gonna trim that pipe flush with the wall and cover it up. But I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like. There's a luggage rack. So these are full over full bunk beds. And then if you have extra kids, you got a twin size trundle under here that you can pull out. So you can sleep. I mean, really, two kids could sleep in each one of these bunks. They're they're pretty good size for uh, for kids. Little shelf here. We're gonna probably add an outlet up here so you know kids and their electronics they can plug them in to charge overnight. Uh, this is going to be all closed in. This is just kind of where we're storing our stuff at the moment until we get back here and I can take some of the stuff back home with me. This is a sensor up here for the air conditioner. I've got these in uh, two different rooms and what it does is tells the air conditioner how cold it is in this room since it might be much colder or warmer in here than it is at the thermostat. Um, they, those sensors talk to each other and will uh, coordinate with keeping things somewhat even in terms of the temperature. Smoke detectors, carbon detectors, custom made barrel sink. So our intentions here are we're gonna have a bar top that's gonna go all the way across. Uh, obviously it'll be cut out for the, for the sink there, but maybe put like a little uh, wine fridge down here. Um, something else over there, glasses, you know, that kind of stuff will be there. This is gonna be our movie area. So we got these really nice, um, movie theater style comfortable black leather couch and it's got some cool led lights underneath i'm not going to show you now because it's not plugged in but um over here we're going to probably put some type of movie decor movie posters um, up here is going to have a 75 inch flat screen tv it's going to be um it's going to have a subwoofer a sound bar and it's going to have some cool led lights behind it that will actually coordinate with the colors on the TV. So it'll it'll project the same colors behind the TV. Here we're gonna have uh, some artificial grass on the wall and we're gonna have a really cool LED sign with the name of the cabin and the address with the hopes that people will take some pictures there, tag themselves and share it on social media and generate some more bookings for us. Uh, this is a nice little couch that matches everything else. It's just a regular old couch, no sleeper, anything like that, but it's more seating down here. Pool table with brand new, nice blue felt. I uncovered it just so you guys could see it. I'm gonna cover it back up. Blackout shades down here. The reason we did that is because this is the movie area. So uh, if people wanna watch a movie and and not have a bunch of backlight, they can do that. Pool sticks are there, dartboard there. We gotta fix all the wiring and stuff. Um, what else? Oh, we got Mortal Kombat over here. So this is pretty cool. Right, we got the kids, even big kids like me. So you can come out here and play some two-player Mortal Kombat. It's got like, I think, 15 games total in here, different games. Um, I don't remember all the games. It's pretty cool. Alright, we'll come back to that. Let's go out here to the deck. So out here, this is the carport area where I told you uh, we were gonna have that electric vehicle charging station. It's gonna go right here. All that has to be gone. That's all garbage has to come get picked up. <clears throat> Got the boot or shoe scrubbing stations at every entrance. If you got snow or mud or anything on your boots or shoes, you can get it off there. Really nice wide decks here. So lots of room for activities. And over here is an air hockey table. So we originally bought this air hockey table for inside the game room. Um, it's just too big. It, it, it makes things too cramped in there. So we decided to put it out here. We bought a, a weatherproof uh, cover for it. And we'll see how it holds up. And that's about it. I know it's creaky. It's real wood. That is about it, folks. The driveway is here, so you can see there. If you got to come up, you come up the driveway here, you make that turn and come all the way up here, and then you go around 
and we have a pretty decent amount of parking you know it's challenging with some of these cabins because they're built on the side of a mountain it's challenging to find parking but uh our property line starts right out here so you know we've always got this little carport area and then we've got probably three or four more spaces or places up top where you could park if you wanted to and that is it